All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to polish up and remove the rust from a chrome golf club. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm AJ, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, we have got here that I bought at a used sporting goods store, a very old uh, eight iron. It's got a good amount of rust on it. Definitely you can see a rust on the sole and all over the face. And this is gonna be our candidate today uh, to try and remove that rust and get that chrome looking as good as we can. Now there are plenty of videos on YouTube about people uh, refinishing golf clubs using all sorts of household items like Coke or lemon juice or vinegar, or different things like that. And look, if you wanna let your golf clubs marinate in some salad dressing or a root beer float for eight hours, that's fine. But for us, we're gonna be using a more professional product and we're gonna see if we can get this golf club looking as good as we can, as quickly as we can. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the product we're gonna be using today. This is 3M Chrome and Metal Polish. This seems to be, uh, there's a pretty good consensus, it seems like, that this is probably about the best uh, Chrome and Metal Polish that you can get for you know, doing automotive type of uh, refinishing work so this is what we're going to be using today this again is a you know a real deal uh, polish not just a household items so we want to make sure that we are using both some gloves I've also got the garage shop door wide open for good ventilation because we don't want to be breathing any more of this than we have to so we're gonna get started put some gloves on and start applying this and what we're gonna do is get a little of this onto the rusted areas, basically all over the face. We'll do it down here on the sole too. And we're gonna apply just a thin layer of this polish all over the face to start. So we're not gonna use too much, just enough to give it, give it a coating. Just kind of smear it all over anywhere you've got that rust anywhere you've got we'll see if we can get it out of, i don't know if we're going to be able to get it out of the uh recessed areas where the logos and the text are but we're going to just really focus on those rusty areas to start with and see what we can get out of it okay so we're going to put this on here again just sort of a real thin layer just like that that's about it right there we're gonna let this sit now really don't need to let it sit very long honestly we can let it sit about a minute or two and then we're just gonna start polishing it off with a microfiber uh, cloth like this and just sort of work our way around and see what kind of rust we can remove and also see how much of the shine we can get back on this head and just kind of work our way using little circles around the face. Obviously the more rusted areas we're gonna wanna rub a little harder. You can already see there's a good bit of that rust coming off. We'll move on to a little different spot on the towel. Well, you can already see it's definitely gotten a good bit shinier. Using just a little Scotch-Brite pad here to just remove a little bit of the surface rust that was still left over. like that a 
Okay. Now we're going to put one more coat on to just sort of finish cleaning it up and hopefully protect it a little bit better. Again, just a light film. We're just going to coat or cover the surfaces that had the rust. Just like that. Okay, let's get a clean spot on this microfiber cloth and give it one more good polish. Let's find another clean spot. Just like that. Okay, there you go. This was about five minutes of work. I'd say this looks pretty darn good. Uh, especially compared to doing this and waiting hours and hours or overnight for soaking the club in vinegar or coke or whatever. So again, we just did the 3M polish with an initial coat and wipe off, then hit it with the Scotch-Brite pad to just sort of remove any of those rust areas that were definitely harder down, deeper in there, and then hit it with one more coat of the 3M, uh, wipe that all down. So now we do have both a very sort of clean, shiny finish again, as shiny as I think we can really hope for. And it should also now, it has a little layer of film, a little layer of protection that's gonna keep these clubs from rusting over as quickly. Again, once you take them out to the course, you play them, you hit them in the dirt, in the sand, in the wet, that rust will come back. So you wanna make sure you keep them clean and dry to preserve this look, this finish as long as possible. But there you go, very simple, very quick. And uh, I think a very, respectable result overall. If you enjoyed this video, please go down below, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram at Mobile Club Maker, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.